Back in the kitchen, Francesco's red wine vinegar reduction is now ready for the next stage. I'm going to add three spoons, large spoons of honey. Yeah. OK. Then the tomato paste, as we said. OK. And we're just basically going to mix it together mm -hmm. to have this lovely, OK, lovely paste here. Francesco puts the dressing back onto the heat to let the tomato puree dissolve, then fries sliced garlic in olive oil. OK, what we're doing is uh, I'm going to put this lovely aubergine in this bowl here, mm -hmm. OK? We're going to add this fantastic crunchy celery on top, OK? I'm adding a bit of uh, this uh, nice sultana. So they've just been soaked in... In water. water. You can use, you know, sometimes they do marsala or stuff like that, but yeah. mainly is... Uh, is in water, okay? Then he slices some sourdough and drizzles over olive oil. Okay, just got one here, one there. While the bread toasts, he adds some of the dressing to the vegetables and sultanas. Imagine this one if you eat the day after. It's going to be absolutely fantastic because all the flavour will be absorbed together. Francesco then adds mint to the garlic and oil and adds to the bowl, along with some toasted pine nuts and dried oregano. He will really lift. Mm. The dish, look at that. Oh, so the mint, the sultana, yeah, the amazing. pine nuts, the sweet and sour, amazing. you know, what else you want? Time for Theo to finish his squid and cannellini bean antipasto. He chops cherry tomatoes, squeezing out the seeds. Do you want the seeds, because it can be slightly bitter, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally chops a red chilli. And just tiny squeaks. I want that chilli to just give that instant heat. Yeah. yeah, 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 of course. Tiny bit of garlic, just a few slices of garlic. And then a little bit of parsley. Yeah, you don't, so, you don't want nothing very strong with this kind of uh, fish, you know? No, nothing too Taste strong. Is just, uh, you just want the, the, yeah. the fish to sort of, you know, do the talking. Yeah, correct. OK, and then on top of that, we've got a little bit of anchovy. So the anchovy's just giving a like, little yeah, bit of seasoning. A, yeah, bit of and, kick as well, and, and in terms it, of, you know, strong taste. And yeah. these are just, you know, anchovies in oil, and I'm just going to chop them up fine. Theo drizzles olive oil over the squid and seasons with salt and pepper before putting them into a dry, hot pan. So you just thought that's got a dry heat because you, yeah. if I start moving it around now, it's going to. Yeah, you know, and they also lose a bit of water, maybe. And it's going yeah. to sort of boil. As the squid is cooking, Theo adds the rest of the ingredients, removes the squid to stop it overcooking, and adds a squeeze of lemon. You got that's a lovely sort of almost like a sauce. sauce. Then we're going to chop the squid up. Nice. Yeah, see the way it's cooked, just a few minutes. It's kind minutes. of, yeah, it's, it's actually minutes, pretty, so it pretty like undercooked nice on the inside. Yeah. And then we're going to pop that all in. Yeah, finish off a bit there, isn't it? Just put it back in the pan. And that's pretty much it. And with that, both chefs are ready to serve. So beans in. That squid right. smells amazing to you, I'd say, honestly. Again, some oregano. I will come leave without this. <laughs> That is my perfect, simple antipasti of cannellini beans with squid, tomato and anchovy. OK, Theo, you see this? Uh, my perfect uh, uh, antipasti, which is uh, aubergine caponata. It looks beautiful. Time for Theo and Francesco to find out which simple antipasto is perfect. Squid kelly beans two, aubergine caponata one. Yeah, that's pretty close. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many of them, three? <laughs> <laughs> well done to you, deserve it. Well done. Well done. The judges loved the simplicity of Francesco's caponata, but felt that Theo's dish had an exciting combination of ingredients while still being simple to prepare, which for them gave it the edge.